that was initiated. I started recording the meeting. This is the yeah. So uh, and so um, being being part of the open source program office at Aliander, um, we are interested very much in just well, we're at the beginning phase of everything. And, yeah. Um, all our, our projects, uh, I think most of them are monitored through LFX insights, but we're not doing much with it. Um, and so in general, I'd like to get a handle on uh, on metrics. And I see chaos as the main source of information about that and actually pushing the, the boundaries, pushing it forward. Great. So I'd like to join there, yeah. Great. Um... So the yeah the evolution working group as you probably know since you're here we focus on growth maturity decline you know just understanding I think the what I would call the fundamental metrics that have long been monitored in open source um, yeah the activity like metrics the activity level kinds of things and um, engagement and participation and stuff like that um, and so kind of the way that chaos thinks about metrics is we have these working groups and you were in the meeting yesterday. So, you know, we use the working groups to define metrics, but often it's some bricolage of metrics from multiple working groups that are what people use to understand the health and sustainability of different projects. And, and so, uh, how people use metrics is, uh, I would maybe the word orthogonal, um, to how we actually do the work of defining the metrics um, in a sense, because we use, like I said, we use them in collections that cross working group boundaries quite frequently. Um, and we have a couple technologies, uh, Augur and Grimoire Lab um, that are part of the project that kind of put these together and make them visible to people. So um, uh, I wanna, just ask uh, Kevin and Matthew uh, and Elizabeth is in terms of uh, where we're at, and I'll share my screen because sometimes it's helpful just to have the uh, screen shared. So we're kind of on the same page. Uh, this contribution attribution is ready for review and we kind of, this is sort of taken care of, right? Like uh, Minad sent the email out, and this is all under review. So, I don't know if he sent the email out or not. Okay. Um, but I'm because it's not live on the website yet. I'm not terribly concerned about that email. Okay. All right. Uh, so, I think when uh, when the website is live, I have a to do list of metrics that I need to pull in. Yeah, uh, and yeah. and after I do that, I will probably reach out to Elizabeth and and ask if she can. Uh, kind of do an announcement to let everyone know they're there. <laughs> so, and that's actually later today that we are uh, moving the website so that it's uh, on a new hosting provider. And the reason, so the reason that it's not released is is that. Yeah, and technically but, it is. Yeah, technically it is. It has been released into our continuous contribution cycle. It just doesn't have a presence on the website currently. And the okay. website is that is that main point of uh, uh, presentation. However, uh, the issue has been created, so we can we can collect comments on it, uh, and and the process has begun. So okay, excellent. Yeah, so, I don't think that e I don't think there was an email set out about this specifically. Yeah, okay. yeah as I as I kind of hinted to earlier, uh, hmm. even though we do have a continuous contribution cycle. The, uh, the active review period, it really usually occurs 30 days before the, the official release. So uh, the, metrics are, the metrics are open for review at that time, but we, uh, we do not get very many comments until we get into that 30-day review cycle. Yeah, I, I think that's, that's a fair characterization, of course. Um, so with, with that... Uh... <laughs> What we usually do with these meetings then is um, sort of uh, look at the next metrics that are up for release. And it looks like there's two that we're working on right now, reaction filter PR, um, and it could be a filter on a number of metrics, including burstiness. And these are the 
correct me if I'm misguided here, but I believe these are the things like the emoticons when people have a reaction to a comment, emotion, you know, like a thumbs up or a 100 or whatever the available things are in, in a, in a, on a platform. So they're different, of course, on GitHub and GitLab, but they, they share common properties of happiness, sadness, sh surprise, shock, love, those sorts of things. Um, uh, yes. It, yeah. And I, we talked about this last week and, and we actually, I think we've talked about it prior to, I'm yeah. kind of in, I'm kind of in favor of slowing this one down. Okay. Uh, because I'm not exactly sure uh, how helpful it is. So because because of mo because of emoticons and the uh, these these reaction emojis have different meanings, mm -hmm. just counting counting the number of emojis that may occur in a comment doesn't tell us anything. So the and, and the conversation in the conversation that you and I had last week, we were talking about uh, uh, you know. We know what the thumbs up means. So the number of the number of thumbs up signs, counting that may mean something, mm -hmm. but counting all of the uh, emojis together, uh, uh, we don't really know what that means. And then additionally, these emojis have different uh, contexts and different uh, uh, projects. So I would just uh, I would. I would vote on slowing this one down and giving it more thought. <laughs> okay, um, maybe because it's not a it's not as straightforward as it seemed initially. And, and so, let's just take a minute to to give it more thought. the The metrics that were modified were change requests, change requests accepted, decline, active issues, and new issues. Those were the the five metrics to which emoticons were, or reactions were added. Um, what? If, oh, this uh, isn't the this isn't the metric one. This is the this is an edit to the uh, template. I'm sorry, I was confused. We also have a. I believe there's also discussion of creating a metric to handle. Uh, yes. The, uh, emojis, and that that's that's a different issue. That was uh, discussed in the last meeting when we were going through this uh, PR that uh, emojis needs a separate metric rather than adding as a filter. That that was the discussion I recall from the last time. Okay, so I'm, so I, I think guess it's we not, said we not rather than uh, not rather than a filter. I think it could be it could yeah. be both. It could still be a filter, but it needs some sort of definition uh, to go along with it. And we are you is are we suggesting a definition to each emoji, or a definition of? Well, that's that's that. kind of that's kind of why I'd like to slow down on uh, defining the uh, the metric uh, because I I don't I don't think it's appropriate to define each emoji, but I also am not sure it's appropriate to just have a metric that is emojis. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a community manager, but isn't one of the things that community managers tend to measure is engagement? It seems like yes, it could be indicative I think of so, yeah. engagement I think as, a, as a neutral term. And then I think it's up to them if they want to take that a little further and try to measure sentiment. But definitely engagement, I think, is a thing that they care about. The, the example that I probably have mentioned before that comes to mind is just like, you know, sometimes there's these random like GitHub comments that like end up on reddit or hacker news and suddenly there's 10,000 hearts for something you know that kind of thing it just if if the part of the intent of this is just that they want to find out where people are paying attention and they somehow weren't tracking that one issue or something i could see how somehow having a metric to say wow this one has 500 times more engagement but i don't i don't know if that's the intent i might be you know interpolating but um that's the example that keeps coming to mind with this one for me i think that's a that's a really good point and uh i would uh revise the way i think about it based on that actually if we're looking at uh emojis as a as a measure of engagement i think it's it's fair to 
it would be fair to have that metric as a just we, we could treat it as just one metric without splitting them out. Uh, Maybe so, then, do we have an engagement metric in any of the working group? That's a really good question. Because um, if that is the case, then that this emoji can be a filter in that metric because we are gauging the engagement, not the emojis. Uh, and the engagement is gauged through emojis, but not like uh, we are not looking in depth to the emoji. That might, uh, in, an engagement emoji might be, that might be, or I'm sorry, not emoji, an engagement metric might actually be too high level uh, because we're, we're kind of, so everything, we that's, everything that's done in a, in a project that we can count is, is kind of engagement, right? So. Uh, how many PRs that tells how much engagement there is, how many comments that tells how much engagement there is. So engagement is, is more, is this high level, it's, it's closer to a focus area than it is to a, uh, to a metric. So in the, in the met, this is um, for, for um, Nico, this is it's Nico, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I, 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 when, I, when I'm sharing, I can't actually see people's names in Zoom, so I'm going on memory. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't remembering wrong. Yeah. Um, so searching the, um, the, this is a metric spreadsheet we have for all five of the active working groups, and the word engagement isn't present um, in mm -hmm. any existing metric, nor is the word reaction. So to Kevin's question, I, there is not presently anything that... I was that addresses it. Yeah, sorry. I was I was looking at the same spreadsheet. Um, and of course, there's the, the number of issues. Um, just yesterday, I opened, I'm not sure which working group, sorry, I don't know, uh, something about page views. That's also a metric you can see on GitHub at the moment, but uh, that's not oh, really. really um, As that must be a new one. Like yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but that will be um that's not really engagement in a sense i mean that's sort of passive you just open the mm -hmm. page look at it that's it uh, whereas actually putting in emojis is you insert information here so i i guess it's it's sounds like it's a wording and we, we need to have a more specific term for it i like the i like the term that davish uses laura davish uh she refers to them as signals of attention okay uh, which I'm, I'm sure it's there's several comments throughout this discussion about uh, them being referred to as signals of attention, and if we do if we think of them as singles of signals of attention, then it very much is a a, a measure of engagement, right? Uh, and it's also a measure of uh, those signals of attention can be uh, used to inform uh, uh, how attentive the community is to uh, to contributions in general right i would think something like this is rather tied to the technical implementation for measurement so I, I, it makes me wonder sean you probably know the most like does grimoire lab have other types of ways where they integrate this sort of um signal into various dashboards i don't i don't know about dashboards i know that both grimoire lab and auger do capture um, these reactions and these it looks like these are the ones available on GitHub. There's eight, and they're captured in the form of events. So each pull request issue, each pull request issue and comment has an opportunity to get one of these reactions, and that that shows up as a list of events associated with each issue, pull request, or comment. Uh, on both platforms. And so we have the data. I think the question is, you know, what do we do with it in terms of re representing it as a chaos metric? Um, yeah. we, we don't right now with Augur, and, and I don't know about Grimoire Lab because I, 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 I haven't looked at it recently. I don't know if that's incorporated in their dashboards right now or not, but because both of us gather the data, incorporating it into the dashboard would be a, say a trivial exercise. I think, I think what we both struggle with is what does that representation, what is that representation that's useful to people? What is the metric that we can show? 
I just wanted oh. to say I'm sorry. I misspoke. I meant auger. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. I, I mean, I, I'm I'm obviously we are familiar with each other's stuff. Yeah. I mean, it, to me, it looks like like it would be hard for me to distinguish the or interpret thumbs up, love, rocket, and party, and big smile like pot like almost these are all positive thumbs down and frown are negative i've always taken and, that rocket to mean let's fast track this okay so it's not actually a, like a not a not a positive well done thing it's more of a put this on the fast track uh okay that's so, not how my company uses it how do you use it we all we mean like hey we launched a rocket like this was awesome <laughs> Like going to space as a billionaire, yeah, for example. Like, well, yeah, but we have uh, sorry this phrase that we internally use called like strap a strap a rocket to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I guess to the to the point I made earlier, the the context is different for emojis based on right. project, based on organization. Right. Uh, so, I but really I, I don't think it's wise to try and interpret those. Yeah, I think we I think we need to avoid making value judgments, but I. But I do think we can, uh, in, in retrospect, after having this conversation, I do think we can move forward on this metric. And I think we, uh, I think you're correct. I think this is a, it's, it's a measure of engagement. And is the, yeah. is the interpretation of an emoji really any different than any other chaos metric insofar as what we always say is that we're defining a metric and this gives us a standard definition so that when people are comparing metrics across projects using a chaos metric, they're using the same defined metric and it might not be right in every way that a person wants it to be right, but it is consistent. And so it enables comparison. And is this any different than that really? That, you know, I don't we, think so. I think just the enable language, comparison. I think the language in that pull request was uh, it kind of treated them all as like plus ones, if I remember correctly. Uh, I can go back to that pull request and that, so, that sounds right to me too. Uh, reactions, number of thumbs up or other reactions. And in the language, oddly, the, it, the language is all the same regardless of it's all on issues, even though some are yeah, maybe, requests. Maybe we make that maybe we make that a little more agnostic and uh, say something to be the, the number of emojis that that signal attention. Okay. Uh, or some yeah. So reactions, the the number of emojis that are inserted into a comment that that signal attention. Yeah, I I like the word attention as well. And there's one thing with, with context, apart from the, the emojis having different contexts, I've sometimes upvoted out of frustration because you see somebody making an issue or a pull request that doesn't come true, but you want to support it. And, and so that the thumbs up is actually a thumbs down to the project and the governance. Um, the, and oh, sort of I see. So, so, so sometimes, sometimes the thumbs up is a way of signaling support when it perhaps the project is not the maintainers are not necessarily yeah. motivated to do it. So it's, it has a negative connotation to the project. So yeah, the general uh, attention makes sense. But yes, I, I think that adjustment, that adjustment to the PR would fix it in my mind. And then I would, I would say we could probably merge it. So for the uh, adjustment to the PR, could you, could you repeat the language? So we're, we're calling those reactions currently. Yeah. Right. So it's, it would be uh, signals of attention or a reaction. And then the number, the number of emojis that signal attention to an issue, something like that. And is, is, um, is there anything we want to say about balancing of the emoji? So that uh, some emojis, uh, emojis or emoji reactions would be about the, the valence of the emo reaction 
is interpreted by the project and may not be the same in each context. Uh, I think we save that language for the metric. If we define if we define uh, if we define these reactions as a metric, I think that's where we we use that language in the metric. And I and I and I do think it would be appropriate to move forward with creating reaction as a metric. But as as a filter, I think it's just. Uh, uh, I don't think we want to get too complicated with uh, descriptions of filters in in metrics documents themselves. Those, if the if the filter needs a description, then it should exist within a metric document. Uh, uh, its own metric document. Sorry. Uh, the, okay. the the goal is to keep the the metrics documents as simple as possible and focused on the the actual metric we're defining. Okay. So a new metric. Uh what would we call the, right now in the spreadsheet there is a metric listed called reactions and emoji um would we change the name of that to be to include the word signal or how would what would be the name of this proposed uh, metric so if the if the filter is called reactions i'm i'm comfortable with the name reactions however you know you know when we when we start defining this we we do edit and have discussions about the names as we're going. So that could change. Uh, and I guess I said earlier, I like signals of attention. However, if we used signals of attention in the description, I think reactions, reactions is fine. So we just a reaction is a a reaction is a is an emoji that signals attention. Right. Okay. So just reactions or I, I suggest I'm suggesting reactions and other attention signals. Um, Obviously, this is emoji. I don't know. Maybe do we want to keep emoji in it. Um, yeah, maybe to be to be as descriptive as possible. Uh, re, uh, we may want to. Uh, yeah, we may want to include emoji in the in the title. I don't know what that would look like. Maybe, maybe it's just emoji reactions. I mean, I know. I yeah, know. Lucas. What... Go ahead. Uh, how does that relate to the couple of rows above review comments? So I think I think re review comments are is a tracking of the comments made on a pull request review or a change request review. So that's descriptive text. And whereas an em emoji is just a click, I guess that's the difference. But making uh, it so uh that does bring up the question of uh so in 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 our other name in our with our naming convention we are we are actually kind of pulling out these are these are change request comments versus issue comments yeah and this, uh, this is this is a metric that kind of spans both code development and yes. issues right like it's um so perhaps it belongs in the code development activity focus area rather than the code development i can uh, see that process quality and it's um i mean it's i guess the the challenge with this metric is it's actually it spans both code development and issue resolution um, yeah Talking to the talking to the Nico's comment is like how it is different from the review comments as the emoji. I was thinking that term came into mind that like a picture speaks thousands words, like uh, thousand, more than thousands of words. Yeah. So in in that sense, I feel both are same. My high school English <laughs> teacher did not count that as a thousand words in my essays. I tried, but. I hear what you're saying. And and per the conversation we were having earlier, it may be a thousand different words to different people. So I, I agree it doesn't necessarily belong in the class of code development process quality. The only generic category we have right now is community growth. I don't think it's necessarily that either. 
You don't think it fits in that top one, the, uh, uh, my, I guess my only code development activity. My, my, my only, my only reservation is that it can be applied to issues and issues are not necessarily code development. That's why we so, have a, so we do have a ratio of issues to change requests metric oh. that is, uh, in there. Precedent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And I think there, I think code development activity, I think there's a lot, uh, I think there's room to, to look at, uh, uh, all code development activity, right? Issues, right, issues yeah. and change requests. All right. Well, let's see if I know how to cut and paste. <laughs> um, Nico, does that resolve your issue or, or do we still need to dig in deeper to, uh, the difference between an emoji reaction and a comment? No, I, I, there was more as a, as a sort of a challenge for clarification, uh, because I don't know what, what's in the description of the comment, but okay, it sounds good. Yeah, I will say for so for the metrics we have here, we are being we're being very explicit with uh, a lot a lot of the evolution metrics are things that that we can count that GitLab has provided us that GitHub has counted that's provided us. So there's these metrics are very explicit, right? So change request comments is it's very specifically looking at the number of of comments in a in a pull request right so that would be that would that wouldn't include comments in an issue uh yeah All right, so I think I think so that's resolved. Do we want to go back then and suggest this language and reopen that pull request and ask that it be changed? Like, are we? I think I heard two things. I think I heard we want to develop a metric, and I think I heard we want to uh, have the language in the pull request that we'd closed last week changed to this, and then we would be willing to merge it. Did I hear that right? That's what I said. Uh, I don't know if everyone else is in agreement. That seems completely reasonable to me. Yeah. To me too. Okay, so let me go back to this pull request. Uh, and I guess this will be like, a, <laughs> upon further review. Separate metric called emoji reactions. I just how much the number. Sound good? Yeah. And then um, because these um, metrics. So there was the, the remark I think Kevin made about the naming. Everything was named an issue, even though it was on a different. Oh, yeah, language. yeah. And I think that with the language reaction, the number of emoji and that emoji that signal attention to communication or contributions within a project. So that would, if they use, if they, if Georg were to use this exact language, that would resolve this issue. Um, yeah. But that's a. Uh, Oops, not keeping girl on. Thank <laughs> you. 
There is an entire Atlantic article about whether or not the word emoji has a plural that's emoji or emojis. <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, um, I got, I confess, it's I just sort of punted, and it felt like emoji was right, but right. <laughs> I right. don't know. There is fine, but in the past when I've written it, it's always been emoji. But I know when I, when I talk, I say emojis. So. I, I treat it differently. Interesting. Well, we need a linguist. <laughs> it's going to be official, you know. Okay. You're right. Reactions. All right. Okay. So uh, the PR is reopened with reflecting this discussion. Boom. So we um, may we may want to move this metric forward now while the conversation is uh, still fairly fresh. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, yeah, we've gone off and on with this one for a while. Uh, okay. Um, bef before we do that, I just want to ask uh, Nico, since he's new, were, were there sp particular metrics uh, that you were interested in seeing developed uh, in the in you know, participating? Uh, I certainly want to give attention to any anything that might be on your mind as well. No. Okay. <laughs> All right. Like, like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm 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 mainly here to learn, and uh, okay. I'd, I'd like to contribute to the discussion, but. Otherwise, I would have created both this, I guess. So no. no. Okay. All right. Um, so our usual process is, um, Kevin. I think you're suggesting that we would bump emoji reactions metric up ahead of uh, change request commits uh, as a working item in this meeting. Yeah, I, I just worry that if we revisit this in two months, we're going to have the same conversations. Over we'll spend 20 time. minutes reconstructing the same conversation, right? I tend to agree with you based on history. So the first, Kevin, do you have uh, the link to the template handy? Uh, handy, that's a good question. Uh, there actually, uh, there might be, it might be at the top here. Uh, it is, so it, there is a link to it in one of the, uh, yeah, it's at the top of the, here. Yeah, I do have it handy. Oh, good. It's not in the evolution working group though, is it? Yeah, the Where? here it is. Uh, I assume you're putting it in chat. And then the uh, link to the drive folder is in here as well. See, right, okay, so this is the, uh, this is the template. Is so, it me, is it me or is GitHub doing something different with Markdown right now? Like all of a sudden, usually Markdown, in the, in the past I've seen Markdown just displayed and now I'm actually seeing the Markdown code. Which, uh, I'm sorry, I forget, which, uh, which focus area are we? We decided that we would put the, oops, sorry. Oh, we, this isn't, actually, I'm sorry, never mind. This isn't, uh, hang on. That might be a code block. Where did I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I see it is, have, it's a code block. Oh, there we go, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Is that okay? That's that's why. I guess it makes it easier to copy and paste it. That uh, and I just created the uh, GitHub uh, doc. <clears throat> okay, and here it is. Are we doing? I think these um, Yash may have added some some instructions around that template at the bottom. Okay. which is why it might look different because I don't remember seeing all that stuff before. Maybe it was there. I just never scrolled down, but now there's guidance on how to like refer to images and things like that. All the images, right? Okay. Yep. That's exactly okay. what that is. Yeah. All right. Okay. This is, that makes sense. And so Kevin has created the Google doc. And I guess I've, I'm going to paste. So this is the, oops, I'll let you do that, Kevin. And while you're doing 
that, I will go back to our minutes and just create a link to this document that we made. And then the, uh, the uh, preferred uh, the preferred way of working with these is to use the, the suggesting rather than the editing. Yeah, that lets us see and, I don't know, you know, be aware of what's been edited as we go through things. All right, so I now have the correct link in the spreadsheet. I guess, uh, is what I typed under objectives really the description? Uh, the objectives should be example use cases. So this uh, is more of a, yeah. more of a description. Yep. Words are hard. So get rid of the uh, yeah get rid of the bit that says the aim of this metric is and and just say uh, the number of emoji reactions on any Git platform object with a yeah and then obviously a filter could be a type of emoji emoji. Uh, platform and platform where they occur. Yeah, I, I agree. I think, and I think that's important because um, it's funny that I don't know if, if uh, any of you have uh, looked, there was a study by the University of Minnesota about how different emoji look different on Android and Apple platforms and actually elicit different, res different reactions from people who see an emoji depending on the platform and how that platform uh, sort of presents that emoji yeah and so yeah go ahead yeah there's a ton of interesting research on that and even like gendering of those emojis that the like there's a default male in certain instances and some of them switched to try and be not default and then that created other issues and then <laughs> So anyway, yeah, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of fascinating research on that, and I yeah, saw that. And, in yeah, and then the United States, there's of course the. I, I really struggle with what there's like five or eight different skin colors that my thumbs up can be, and I, I like okay, I'm a white guy, but what is that like the whitest thing, or is it like the more actual skin color thing? Um, you know, am I appropriating culture if I use a darker emoji? skin color that I'm supposed to, who decides that? So yeah, emoji certainly is a active of, uh, topic of active discussion.
I think it's also, um, this, this might be interesting. Um, I'll share it in chat. There's an actual style guide that uh, Google has put out there regarding words to use or not use. Um, which I, I find interesting. And I was actually made aware of it because I turned on, there's a new GitHub service called ProseBot that will flag text that you use in, in different things. And I've turned it on for Augur. And so every time we make a change or a pull request, the ProseBot scans it and makes me aware of words that are uh, uh, sort of indicated to be avoided in the, um, in the Google style guide and I, like, um, I think, and it came up in the context of discussing the word grandfathered, um, where something was grandfathered in, which is a common term in the US for, okay, going forward, everything's gonna be this way, but if you've already got something, you are grandfathered in. And that in the US, that's actually a term that uh, can trace its origins back to our slave history. And so there are words like that, that people don't think of as having any problematic nature of it, at least not uh, organically. But in fact, uh, yeah, there's a lot of a lot of US language that is problematic in different ways. Sorry, that was I didn't know about the bot. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Pros pros bot, I believe it's called. I'll put a link in the chat to ProseBot as well. Uh, I just did. Oh, okay. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. I found it. On oh, cool. The name oh, yeah. Oh, you did. Things. Yeah. 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 When it was first, uh, you know, I was looking for plugins that I thought would uh, be helpful for Augur's auto, you know, automating different parts of the work that we're doing. Um, I ran across it and I, th I thought, well, this is useful because we are updating a lot of documentation. And so I think uh, usually we end these minutes in about, oh, I like, thank you for putting that in there. It would probably be good to have the, I'll, I'll try to grab the GitLab version of that real quick before our meeting time is up in a few minutes. I guess the, the visualization is more about visualizing metrics or wow Just for reference yeah um so gitlab actually <laughs> enables oh, that's good documentation at least also yeah yeah G gitlab i'm looking at their emoji right now they literally have the entire universe of emoji that you would find on your phone um, they have thumbs up and thumbs down listed but uh I'll take a screenshot of this and put it in there. I think it, oops. So this is like, you can, you can, I won't, we obviously can't place them all, but you can see that it, um,
So, um, and I think uh, we are at time, but uh, I think this is really good progress. So thank you, everyone. I think it's my job as facilitator to say that we are officially at time. And um, uh, thank you all very much for participating today and uh, your active engagement. And we even got started on a new metric and got a pull request reopened and gave Georg some work to do. So any meeting that results in more work for Georg is a win. Um, <laughs> Nice to keep that one moving forward. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Um, I'm going to stop the recording. And uh, we meet every two weeks. We'll be back here, uh, whatever's two weeks from today. It's going to be in August. So it'll be J July 35th. So August 4th. August 4th. Yeah, that's how, <laughs> that's how my calendar math, or math works. Is I add, when it's a 20, when it's a, uh, when a day of the week is, uh, a total of American football touchdowns, it's much easier for me to calculate what, how far forward 14 is. <laughs> so, Keep into you. the mind of Sean. Yeah, yeah. I just look at the calendar. And it's the, oh, that's one other way to go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks everybody. We'll see you Bye, hopefully okay. next time. See Bye. Ya.